When you have 93 million people living near poverty, that means tens of millions of people who don't know what will happen if they get sick or if their children get sick. They don't know what will happen to pay, how they're going to pay off their college loans. They don't know how they're, how they're going to send their kids to college. This is what's creating so much unhappiness. And this is what is creating so much, uh, a lot of the mental tension and anxiety that we call a mental health crisis. How can people not be experiencing uh, un un unbelievable tension. They're living with this every day. And plus, it's why so many of these young people, because of the $1.5 trillion college loan debt, how many of these young people are now in jobs and in careers that are not what their hearts desire, but they feel that if they worked in any other career, that they just can't see down the road and think how they'll be able to, to pay their, off their college loans. Well, what you're doing is suppressing people's dreams. And when you suppress people's dreams, and you're thwarting rather than supporting people doing what they really want, you're actually suppressing your economic potential. Because that's where money comes from. Money comes from being, people being happy at their job. That's where money comes from. Money comes from people going after their dreams. Money comes from people showing up better as employees and employers. We're a depressed society because everybody's, everybody's just living in this kind of survival mode and everybody's grouchy, you know? And it's turning into meanness, and everybody takes, uh, takes it out on the, on the internet. And we've got to recognize, and then we just try to treat the symptoms. Well, if we have enough universal health or if we have enough mental health care, we need to go deeper.